I guess it is recording. Hey, this is Everride, and I'm here with another uh, mod for you. And you know the kind of mods I do. Um, I've noticed it's uh, November. Well, I haven't noticed it's November, but I've noticed that since it's November, it's really cold outside, and my hands are getting cold even with the gloves that I'm putting on, and I plan to ride all through the year. So, um, the bear, if you take a look at that, the bear hand guards that I've got here, these tusk things, they're not going to cut it. Now, I got these from Rocky Mountain RockyMountainATVMC.com, and uh, I just didn't feel the need to spend an extra 20 or 30 bucks for a piece of plastic that goes over that. So I opted out of that and just got the bars themselves. They've worked great, held up through a lot of crashes. I think they look pretty cool, but now it's time to make them ugly again. Um, now obviously with these, I can't fit on the old, you know, sugar scoops as they're called. So I've got to figure out uh, something else to do. All right, so what I've done is I've taken one of these lids from the top of a laundry hamper and basically sliced it in half. So it looks kind of like this. We bought several laundry hampers, so I have several of these things. Um, but it was easy, it only took one thing. I did uh, I did this with a hacksaw. You can see it kind of broke things up and wasn't too great. Um, but eventually I came out with these. I just used some kind of hardcore sick, uh, kitchen scissors, uh, sick and kitchers. I used some sick and kitchers to uh, uh, trim those down and trim, trim off all the contours that would give me problems. Um, and then what I'm going to do with this, just come over here to the motorcycle. There's two little screw holes here that you can see. Uh, basically, I'm just going to stick that like that, you know. Instant handguard. Obviously, I'm going to paint it. It's going to look a little bit better than that, but I don't think it looks too bad, you know, if I paint it the, uh, the sand color there. Anyway, I know this isn't the most attractive mod, but if you uh, watch my videos and you're looking for attractive modifications, then, uh... <laughs> Look at my bike! <laughs> Attractive mods. <laughs> anyway, this is not the right channel for attractive mods. Alright, so here we have uh, the prototype, what I've got. Still need to sand and paint. But uh, as you can see, you know, for a ghetto project, they don't look too bad. If you want to do this, just to make it easy, uh, even if you don't use uh, as crappy of material as I did. Uh, let's see. Um, the uh, These are hex cap screws. Uh, M5-.80 by 16 is the right size. Got these from Lowe's. And the washers. 5 by 32 by 7 eighths. Check it out. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, does it? You can see I've painted them the nice uh, sand color to match the rest of my bike. Um, but there they are. I mean, these were free because they were lids, and the only thing that cost any money was just these, uh, the washers and the bolts to bolt them to the, to the, uh, guards there. But really easy project, um, cost almost nothing, and, uh, <laughs> it beats buying the, uh, $25 or $30, I think, plastic things that Tusk gives you with these. So, my recommendation... Just buy the Tusk handguards, just the aluminum, and, uh, you know, find yourself a rigid piece of plastic, paint it, and bolt it to it, because uh, it doesn't look bad. Plus, you know, if you're handy with a, a knife or a saw or something, you can make those in neat shapes or whatever you want to do. Anyway, uh, doesn't look too bad. I sure like it. So there's another cheap, super cheap, on the border of ghetto. Well, let's not kid ourselves. It's just ghetto. Uh, mod that you can do to your KLR or any bike that you've got uh, Tusk hand guards on. Anyway, stay cheap and we'll see you guys later. <laughs> I got a 
freaking unicorn up. Are you kidding me? 